a one so in the last video i have shown you how to enable course for uh, get method okay so in this video i am going to show you the same thing for post because in post there is something different you have to do okay so let me show you what is the difference so let me go to the code section in the same way you have to okay, let me close all these things let me format here you please open this one copy the code okay this is very simple code but copy it uh, so that you would not get uh, I mean like any uh, unnecessary error on all okay so just paste it right here deploy the code let's see if it is working properly or not okay let me save this one close this one come to this post okay now copy this function url and test it if it is working properly or not okay as we have did in the get method also so yeah the post call is also working now now we are going to uh, i mean like open the course okay enable the course so for that what we have to do same thing as we did in get we have to change the url at here for post see what i have did again i'm telling uh, go to this ui to test course for post call okay go to this index.html change this you this url to your url how you do get the url from here okay okay so fine uh, so i have changed it let me now check if it is working properly or not it would not work but i am showing you okay you check you are using the post one okay but anyway so let me uh, click the what's it press the uh, f12 button to open the network section let me hit the test okay so see i didn't uh, see one thing uh, let me tell you in the configuration you see the course is enabled see uh, where it is yeah course is enabled okay oh, so, yeah and also uh, all all the things that you have did in get that is also enabled okay but it would not work for that why it's not working you have to understand okay uh, also it is uh, mentioned star so that's that doesn't, doesn't make uh, i mean like matter uh, gate or post so uh, it would allow all but still it would not work why let me tell you this is very uh, disturbing thing i must say so the only reason lies like this one in the api and also this one in the what's it uh, api call okay so from html we are uh, in the, the jquery we are hitting this uh, api and we are mentioning content type application json and from the uh, what's a post uh, api method in lambda also we are mentioning it's a application json so this we have to mention somehow okay so what we have to do you just copy it okay whatever you are mentioning in header you have to mention in the lambda function okay so you have to come at here and like you have see what is it expose header that means like what is written choose the http headers in your function response okay that means in your lambda function and uh, choose the http headers that origin can in okay so this one is the for lambda and this one is for uh, i mean like uh, from the html what you are uh, hitting okay anyway so you have to just you have to do this one nothing else okay also here click here mention it save it yes it would work so check yes it should work yeah so it's working so our course is enabled now you do whatever you want in this uh, code function uh, code section you change the code to suit your need and uh, it would work okay so in my next videos i would uh, show you some real life example how i mean like maybe scrapping and all like how to get the data from s3 and all so yeah in next videos i would mention all those uh, ways how, how to I mean, all those codes and how to do it okay yeah thanks